for dear students this is mahesh jawalkar from maratha mandal polytechnic and for today i am posting my next video on applications of electronics engineering in which i am going to tell you about air conditioner so today's topic will be air conditioner now in that we will see what is air conditioning air conditioning process and what is remote controlled air conditioner so first we will go to see the definition of what is air conditioning so air conditioning is the control of temperature humidity purity and motion of air in an enclosed space independent of outside conditions so let the outside condition be anything let the outside temperature be anything but where you have placed the air condition unit there it should control the temperature humidity purity and motion so mainly it makes the room cool that enclosed space will become cool even if the outside conditions are hot okay so that is what a uh, air conditioning is meant to do then if you see in a detail air conditioning which is referred as ac or air con is the process of removing heat and moisture from the interior of an occupied space to improve the comfort of occupants comfort of occupants means those who are inside the room they should be having comfort air conditioning can be used in both domestic and commercial environments so that means you can use it in your house also you can use it in your office also this process is most commonly used to achieve a more comfortable interior environment typically for human and other animals however air conditioning is also used to cool and dehumidify rooms filled with heat producing electronic devices such as computers servers power amplifiers and to display and store some delicate products such as artwork okay so it can be used in many things the main thing over here is it is going to remove the humidity it is going to make the environment cool okay so that is what the main aim of air conditioning will be clear so if you go to see the process of air conditioning now from outerly you are going to control the process with an electronic remote control okay but innerly the mechanical process goes on now what i am showing is a mechanical process which you have to first understand and once you understand this mechanical process then this process is controlled electronically by a remote control okay so to understand this mechanical process in this we will be speaking about a split mode air condition unit okay split mode air condition unit in which there will be a indoor unit and a outdoor unit okay so indoor there will be some things that is within the room there will be some things and outside the rooms there will be some things okay now what are the things which are outside the room first the first most important thing is compressor so here we have shown the compressor now this is a compressor now this compressor will be a pump like it is going to compress this is going to compress the gas now the gas inside used will be called as gas or refrigerant okay now that gas earlier we used to use freon gas then they found out that the freon gas is not good for the ozone layer and therefore nowadays ozone layer friendly gas is used which is not harmful for the ozone layer okay so that gas which is called as refrigerant is compressed here it is compressed in the compressor compressed it is compressed means what happens it will go into high temperature high temperature and it will go into high pressure high pressure so the gas which was there which is filled in the pipe which is filled now this compressor will have one suction input 
and one discharge output along with that it will also have a gas filling input from where you can fill the gas and that gas will be compressed by this compressor and compression action means what it will make the gas high temperature and it will make its pressure also high okay now that high temperature high pressure gas is passed through this tube okay is passed through this tube to the next unit called as condenser so here you see this is the next unit which is called as condenser this is the second unit our first unit was compressor our second unit will be condenser now condenser will be having this pipe which is going now in this pipe this gas which was having high temperature high pressure will travel will travel and this traveling course will see that the high temperature that is the vapor turns into a liquid now the gas which is going which is in the gas form vapor form will turn into liquid form so here you will be having liquid at the end of this you will get a liquid which is called as condensing liquid now that condensing liquid here you will get the condensing liquid condensing liquid now this liquid will have high pressure high pressure okay now the temperature of that whatever it had lowered down that temperature from here can be blown out can go out this heat can go out you can have a fan over there through which the heat can go out okay now that cool and that liquid type the liquid type high pressure gas now will enter here in this pipe okay so this will carry the liquid type that is a condensing liquid to the expansion wall so here you are having your expansion wall now this expansion wall also is in the outdoor unit now here what happens it has to do some work opposite to compression so this expansion wall will make that high pressure of the liquid into a low pressure into a low pressure now this liquid is a cool a refrigerant gas which is going to go to the evaporator so this is a cool one and controlled with pressure it is going to go to the evaporator now this evaporator is a indoor unit this will be in your room this will be in your room okay now that liquid which is cool and also of low pressure will start traveling here in this tube and this coolness will be blown outside the room by this fan this fan will rotate and that cool air coolness of that will be spread outside the room okay it will go to the outside the room and the room slowly start becoming cool okay now when the room is becoming cool the heat of the room is taken in the heat of the room is taken in and that heat is given again to the refrigerant here gas whatever you have and that gas is again compressed and again the temperature is increased pressure is increased it will travel with high temperature high pressure to the condenser condenser will be having this tube where it is going to move and in this moment the high temperature vapor will turn into liquid and then you will be calling it as a condensing liquid with high pressure that condensing liquid will go to the expansion valve where the high pressure will be again converted to low pressure and then that liquid goes that cool liquid goes of the refrigerant goes to this tube of the evaporator where you can have a fan which can blow that cool air into the room and the room can become cool and whatever heat was there in the room will be absorbed and that heat will be again given to the a refrigerant gas over here so gas whatever you are going to fill and that will be again compressed and this cycle goes on this cycle goes on till the room is made cool 
to a particular temperature okay now this process what we have seen is a mechanical process is a mechanical process and this is to be understood first whenever you study air conditioning then the same a diagram you can also see in other fashion so here you can have your number one system which is a compressor so here you can see you are having compressor as number one okay now compressor will give you hot refrigerant that the ga gas is compressed and it is going to become hot it will be high temperature and high pressure high pressure okay that will be given to a condenser here now in condenser it is going to move through this pipe okay to this tube and in this tube what will happen the temperature the gas temperature which is in the vapor form will become liquid and then you will have a condensed liquid here here you will get a condensed liquid condensed liquid here okay so here you will get condensed liquid now this liquid will travel further now when the vapor was becoming liquid this condensed liquid okay when this vapor was becoming liquid the heat will be given out with an exhaust fan to the outside area okay so this is the a condenser which is in the outdoor unit so whatever heat was there that will be given to the outer outside area and the high temperature high pressure gas now will become a liquid with a high pressure okay now this liquid will be going to the expansion valve which is again in the outdoor unit so this expansion valve will what it will do it will control the pressure of the liquid and that pressure will become less and then that liquid which is cooler cold refrigerant it is going to go to the evaporator now in this evaporator that liquid will flow through this tubes okay and here also you can have a fan you can have a fan and that fan when it blows it blows this cool air outside so cool air outside so here you can go to the cool air outside now here is the room which you want to make cool okay and this room will become cool and whatever heat is there will be again taken and given to the compressor given to the compressor now compressor will get its a refrig uh, a re refrigerant gas and that gas will be having now after compression high temperature high pressure okay and this cycle will be repeated this cycle will be repeated till the particular room reaches a particular temperature of coolness and that room becomes cool okay so from all this unit the evaporator the fourth unit what we have seen evaporator will be in the indoor this will be in the indoor that is within the room which you want to make cool and rest all compressor condenser and expansion valve will be in the outside unit outdoor unit okay and these all will be connected with these tubes to each other okay so this process is a mechanical process which will see that the temperature of the room cools down okay now here if you see the exact parts of air conditioner now this we are speaking with respect to split mode air condition and there you can say that an air conditioner works by transforming a refrigerant compound from a gas to liquid and back again in a continuous cycle so from gas it will become liquid and again from liquid it will become gas okay so that process will go on and air conditioners consist of four basic mechanical parts one is the first one is a compressor which is in the outdoor unit second one is the condenser which is also in the outdoor unit third will be the expansion valve which is also in the outdoor unit and fourth will be evaporator which will be in the room inside the room which you want to make cool the a compressor is in the outdoor air conditioning unit other important parts within the outdoor unit include 
a condenser, a condenser coil and fan. The outdoor unit connects to the indoor unit of your air conditioning system through a copper refrigerant tube. Refrigerant means that particular gas will be there in that. Once connected, these two paths will work together to absorb hot air from inside your home and transform it into cool air. Okay, so this is a picture of a compressor. In this, the gas will be compressed to high temperature and high pressure. Okay, this is a picture of your indoor unit. This is where the indoor unit and from here only your cool air will come out. Okay, so here you can have your cool air which comes out and makes your room cool. Okay, then you have this as outdoor unit. This is the exhaust fan of the outdoor unit where heat is coming out and the gas will become liquid in the condenser. Okay, this is after the a condenser when the it is gas is becoming a, a condensing liquid. That time you have an exhaust fan here which will remove the heat of the gas and the gas will become a liquid now and it will be a high pressure liquid which will go to the expansion wall okay then you can uh, control all these things with the help of a remote control now a remote control most air conditioner remote controls rely on infrared that is ir technology uh, a remote control emits pulses of infrared light and those pulses are detected by a receiver usually situated on the air conditioning unit itself. So inside the room, whatever air conditioning unit you have, it will be having its own a display of a temperature and other things. And it will be having a unit where it can receive the infrared light which you press on the remote control. Once you press some option on the remote control, that will be converted into infrared light and that infrared light will reach the unit which is there in the air conditioning unit inside the room and then it will understand what to do okay so this is how remotely it is controlled it is a control from a far distance okay then you can have a mode setting on your remote the mode setting a button at the remote control usually enables you to set the mode of operation so your ac mode of operation can be set it can be set to cool mode, it can be set to heat mode, it can be set to dry mode, it can be set to auto mode or fan mode. Okay. Then this is uh, one type of uh, remote control we have shown here. So here in the beginning you can see this as on off timer setting button. This will be your sleep timer setting button. Here you can select your modes. Here you can save energy. Here you can have an airflow blade swing button. Here you can have your temperature adjustment buttons where you can change your temperature. Here you can have your fan speed adjustment buttons. And here you can have your on off buttons. So a simple operation which can be controlled remotely by the remote control. Okay. So for this, it is very important for you to understand first the mechanical operation of AC, which you can draw as the block diagram of AC. And then you can show a, a remote controlled AC where you can show a remote control with infrared rays. Whatever function you are going to press will be a transformed, will be informed to the air conditioning unit. And according to that, the air conditioning unit will behave. Okay. So as I've told you earlier, also, we are having a book on applications of electronics engineering, which is written by Akateval sir and myself which is according to the syllabus of fifth semester diploma ENC applications of electronics engineering. Okay. So you can refer this book for more details. Thank you students.